Well, good morning, friends. It's Julie Norman. And today, we're going to set off on another little adventure. It's Saturday. And uh, so we're going to go up to back to Roundup to the flea market because there is also an estate sale in Roundup. So it is a hot, going to be a hot weekend in the hundreds. So we're heading out early for me, uh, around 7-ish. And it takes us like an hour or so to get there. And it's hazy and smoky because of the fires in the west. But um, just got to do things in the morning when we go out. And I also had an issue with my Dexcom. It wants me to change my transmitter. And I don't have a new transmitter. So I'm flying without knowing what my blood sugar is. I'm going old school. I've got my um, little finger prick thing with me just in case. So let's get going. How are you? Thank you. All the clothing over here on the sheets and in the totes is a dollar a bag. Okay. Morning. Hello. 100% soy candles made right here in the Bull Mountains. You really want to be waiting around for it now? Well, I think they have a thing that's going to have off today. Oh, it is? <laughs> it's going tomorrow, too, isn't it? Well, that's what they're saying. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it said on the ad. Yeah. You can't get there today. That one. Maybe might drive down there tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to be there. How much are your vegetables? Um, these are a dollar a piece, mm -hmm. and these are like four for a dollar or something. Okay. Something like that. All right. Um, I'll take four of those. Okay. And how much are your beets, right? Yeah, they. That's a dollar's worth, and I have some all bagged up. Okay, I'll take a, one of those too. You want some rhubarb, guys? Sure. Okay. That's Hello. Your documentary? Oh, I have a YouTube channel, so go around and thrift. And oh, is oh a thrift. Yeah, thrifting, yep. Okay, yep. I, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> one of the guys that's on your page. <laughs> so I do, I look for thrifting. So, so is this a new thing on this side? Um, instead of this the is a newer one, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. It, so you have two flea market kind of things? We're not a flea market, we're a market. We're a market, yeah. Yeah. okay. We also have okay. Okay. Yeah, so so you don't. Ain't no fleas on there. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so is it every weekend then too, or? Yes. Okay. That makes sense, I find. Thomas Kincaid. What? The roller coming back. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Hello. How are you? Doing great. <laughs> Here's an electric cutter. There you go. We have one. Yeah, I guess we do. Hi. Hello. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at all that work. Is that those the extra bags? Yeah. Oh, I see. I think our. No, 
being you said Russian olives. Have you ever pulled out to the woods and see what they're like? So we're back home and we actually have been home several days and finally got this um, to the point where I'm ready to finish up my haul. Um, you saw what I purchased through the video, but the, there's one thing that you didn't see was we stopped at one more garage sale. Um, it was um, really rural off the side of the highway kind of in Roundup as we we're heading back to Billings and they had, uh, they said, a dollar a bag because we just want to get rid of it and then so I thought okay uh, let me see what I can find so I found there was this bin <laughs> here and I started to put things in the bag and then I realized I wanted everything in the bin because it was really cheap and so they sold me with the bin three dollars and fifty cents so that's my big spending at that garage sale and it's nothing like really significant I think in here but it's just kind of really cool stuff um, oh and there was a couple things on I don't know I don't know why I bought this uh, it was a dollar. Lollapalooza. For some reason, it I don't know. If you know anything about this stuff, I heard they might be good, but maybe it's not this one. <clears throat> they had one of these photo books and scrapbooks, I should say. And these aren't worth a whole lot, but this was in really good shape. So I decided, you know, to put it in with my $3.50 bin. It even has a label still. Oh, no. Look what I found. Some wormy thing was in here. Ah, maybe I'll take it apart and use the paper, but that wormy thing is long gone. It's not in there, so. Ah, you find those a lot of times in old books. What else did I get? Okay, oh, all right. They had a few local things. So, Valley Credit Union. I don't know if, you know, I'm looking for local stuff. This is, oh, it, this is not local. This is Tupperware spatula. And then a Van Dyke Supermarket scoop so sometimes those will be good so the things that i got here are basically crafting supply stuff so it's a bunch of these things so like i said there's nothing like earth shattering in here it's just a bunch of paper things and i'm hoping maybe there'll be some treasure in here um this is a little a 1984 <laughs> so nothing else these will be good in junk journals and yeah i do have quite a few okay that's creepy okay let's make the creepy clown oh and look at that kid <laughs> that's good artwork i mean somebody might really like that well, i hope so and more creepy stuff there's nothing says thanks saint patrick like a weird little elf um copyright that's probably the yarn shop in billings they copied a pattern hmm I've never been, that was before my time, here, so, a little kitschy stuff, but sometimes, you know, you'll find these old patterns and stuff, and somebody is looking for them, a little bloom iron-on transfers, oh, those are interesting, who knows, maybe, part of a pattern, Yeah, for today and what the years these oh this is this is from the 80s the 80s are calling they want their needle crafts back this looks older than 80s to me and then there's a whole bunch of patterns and if they are uncut I can I will sell them this one looks to be but if not they're just basically junk journals because um, there, I did just recently sell a pattern, and now that says 80s. You just need bigger shoulder pads. <laughs> um, I just sold one, and, you know, the person's really happy with it. This doesn't, oh gosh, that is cool artwork, though. This would be great in a junk journal. So, I mean, okay, tracing paper. But $3.50, even if only one thing turns out to be valuable. I still have a lot of good junk journaly stuff. Doilies. It's kind of in rough shape. <laughs> this is cool artwork. Crafts and things. Let's go to the beach and wear a robe with a matching bag. 
This is missing its cover. Maybe it's in one of my things. What is this? McCall's Christmas. So, um, I do like <clears throat> old patterns and stuff. And, you know, I wanted to collect them, but you know me, I, I just don't need to collect all this stuff. And, and am I going to actually use them? That's another question. Fantasy fur. That sure is a fantasy. Cupid's Christmas. What was about the freaky doll faces? Okay, maybe you think they're cute. Let me know. You think they're cute or freaky? <laughs> Great for the whole family. Only one person's making eye contact. Like, we have to wear these because mom made us them. And, yeah. Butter rip. Butter. Oh, this feels newer. Women's world. But, or maybe it's not. Who knows? Oh, gosh. 80s. 80s is in, though. All right, men, men. Say it twice, it means more. <laughs> Ready for summer. What were they thinking? All right, so I want you to let me know what your favorite one, what you think was your favorite one of these that I'm showing you, pattern book. Um, what do you thought was the weirdest or funniest? Uh, sheep. Sheep doorstop. I'm not going to make that. No, I don't think so. That. Uh, um, okay. I don't know about that one. Another. Idaho Falls Post Register Merchandise. Okay. Sometimes you get a little, these little notes are kind of neat. Because you get a little bit into it. <laughs> 80s for sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Run, <clears throat> don't everybody like rush and say, I want, I really need to make that. Oh, okay. Let's make our bathroom a feature. <laughs> I remember those. I remember what's looking through catalogs. Laundry fabrics and supply. Buyer's guide. Oh, that's interesting. Kiefer's. So lovely. Now she is lovely. Not really realistic, but very lovely. Aunt Ellen's. I think there's a bunch of Aunt Ellen stuff. Like she was, Aunt Ellen knew how to do a lot of stuff. A little workbook. How many workbooks are there? There's, there's lots of them. Sewing pants for women. Yeah, because we're liberated. And then there was a bag of patterns here. Oh, Aunt Martha's transfer. I don't, I really don't need to go through all these, do we? But a whole bunch of transfers. They're going to be here forever. And, you know, I promised you estate sales. <clears throat> so we've got some zippers. And some needlepoint. Um, this was just some quilted. But this was a piece that I thought was really cool. That I thought, oh, I think I want this whole bin. Look at <laughs> If I can get it, a picture of it. But <clears throat> it is like upholstery fabric feel. <laughs> it just screams like the 70s mod stuff and there's a good bit of it so I think I could I'll be able to sell it but it's cool oh and there's a couple little treasures at the bottom some more pattern pieces make your kids look like dolls from the 80s oh, I showed you that Waverly Waverly I loved Waverly I loved all that uh, romantic Victorian, and we'll just end it with this. 
yeah, so that was my final haul, and I um, hope you enjoyed coming along with us today, and that uh, let me know what you liked and what you didn't like, and what you thought was a deal, and uh, what you're looking for. So thank you so much for watching, and have a joyful day. Goodbye.